I was having a conversation with Punja some days ago about Serena Williams crying out of the press conference after her match against Naomi Osaka. Yeah. And he made me to understand that I feel at some point she needs to be grateful mm. for 23. You don't have to, it's not a do or die affair. Her sister <laughs> no, right no, now, no. yes, it's not. I don't agree, I don't agree with you on that. You one. don't need to agree with me on that. Her sister is 40. Her sister has had lots of injuries upon injuries. Her sister is enjoying tennis right now. Her sister lost in the second round of the Australian Open. She strained her ankle during the match. I mean, you can't, you can't lose a match and be feeling bitter about it. Someone was better than you. Accept it. I, I, she took the shine away from Naomi Osaka when Naomi won her first Grand Slam. No, at the U.S. Open. At the um, that, at, at the U.S. US Open. Open. But that was not a fault. That was umpire and the fans no, and everybody. No, I, I think I think I think at some point Serena was overreacting. No, no, she wasn't. She the, was. If you go to the we history, are going to US, argue this. Me and you are going to argue. I know, but she go, was overreacting. Yeah, if you go to the U.S. Open history, she is a woman that is not loved in her home. So she's got like so much to prove, so much point to prove, so much at this to prove stage. From. You think she still needs to prove a point? If you, I, I think. I think. I don't thing, think so. The, no, the thing about success is the higher you go, the more success, the more points you want to prove. Yeah, I, I think Serena is just like maybe should I say Cristiano Ronaldo, Messi? Yeah. They want to achieve more. They don't. They don't even look at their age. You no. Know, yes, they are aging, but to them, they have. You no. Know, they just want to keep improving and keep proving to them. To the world that they are the best. I think that's it's not as if she has, you know, she deserves to lose. I, I, I do not think she needs to prove to the world that she's the best. You gave birth to a child, you came back in a few months. Serena did not give her body time to heal. She almost died. What are we saying? You're talking of a Roger Federer. Roger Federer is 39. Roger Federer lost at the semifinals in the Australian Open against Djokovic last year. He, he took out time. Now he's coming back. He comes back. He wants to come back with the smaller. Um, games in tennis you don't you come back with the atp 500 you come back with the atp 200 you don't have to rush i felt like serena williams didn't give her time to heal give her body time to heal you don't have a child and almost lost your life and come back and want to win she's lost for finals yeah. to me i don't think she's going to win another grand slam well i think she's going to win too but let's let's put it this she's way. going to win too yes okay. let's, put it, let's let's put it this way you are saying that she should give herself time to heal yeah. What healing does she need if she can go from first round to, to the finals in four in four grand slam? Hold on. If if she if she that body needs healing and she keeps getting to four finals, she keeps getting to finals in this space of time, then she doesn't need healing. Yeah. What she needs is to compete for the little time that she's got and be able to win that number. See here, in, in, in the world where she's coming from, it is impossible to be a black woman and not prove a point. Yeah. It is impossible in the world she's coming from. In the world where you are, little satisfy everybody. Mm. But in the world where she's coming from, you have to be the ultimate, the alpha woman in your field to be recognized. And that's exactly what it is. But let's not get distracted. I, I, I love the Serena Williams conversation. And we're going to argue this thing forever. I think that she's done impossible. And yeah, woman, you're speaking from, oh, child bet and all that. Yeah, but in the world where she's coming from, in the league where she's playing, uh, life is not judged like that. Life is, she's always going to be judged as the woman who was unable to meet 24 or yeah. get to 25. Yeah. It's just like um, uh, Floyd Mayweather when it was 45, 46, it's like 50 and 0 was the target. It doesn't matter who is fighting. He needs to get 50 and 0. And he got 50 and 0. So every that, that, that world where they belong to have certain markers that they use to mark it. You have to be on that pedestal. Everybody, does LeBron James have any point to prove to anybody? No. Obviously, no. But everybody's going to say, yes, uh, uh, Michael Jordan is the greatest of all time. Meanwhile, there is somebody who, who won more titles than him. You are listening to Elegbete TV Radio.